Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a perspective grid effect. So if you're familiar with the an old movie called Tron, you notice that in the video game they actually are in this grid and it's kind of in, it's got a kind of perspective. It's a square grid. Let me go ahead and put this into slideshow view. And you can create something like this that gives you kind of like that perspective and it looks like a computer grid and it kind of makes your presentation a little bit uh, interesting. So let me show you how to create this type of perspective grid effect. Let me go ahead and escape out of the slideshow view and let's go ahead and just delete this one. I'll press delete and we'll start from scratch. So what we need to do is we need to insert a matrix of squares. So I'll go into insert, go to the illustration groups, click on shapes and use the rectangle group. So once I have that selected, I want to create some squares. Um, you can create rectangles, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to go, go ahead and create squares. And to create a square, uh, basically choose the rectangle group. So if I just uh, selected it out, it wouldn't really, really create a square. It would be a little bit difficult to create a square. Let me go ahead and Control-Z to undo that. Um, if you created, wanted to create a perfect square, a uh, equal, equal distant or equilateral rectangle, you can go ahead and press the Shift key and just draw it out. And once you press the shift key, uh, you can draw out a perfect square. Let me go ahead and just uh, use this particular aspect, uh, this dimension. Let me see, that might be a little bit big. Let me go ahead and press the shift key and kind of make it a little bit smaller here. So once I have the size that I want, I'll go ahead and duplicate this particular shape. This is selected. Press the Control D to duplicate that. Let me go ahead and pull this out and go ahead and duplicate it again. So I'm going to go select these two. Control D to duplicate. I kind of move this out here. Uh, select these four. Press Control D to duplicate. And let me go ahead and move it out here. Let me select this whole set and move it over here a little bit. Let me so much how mu how much more room I have. I think I have room for two more. Control D. Selected those two. Press Control D to duplicate, and I'll move them out here. So that looks pretty good. This is probably the amount of squares I want. Let me go ahead and make sure that these are equidistant from each other. Let me go and select everything and go under Align. And let me go ahead and distribute it horizontally. And so they look like they're equidistant. And I'm going to go ahead and group them now. I can group them by right clicking and doing group here. Or I can just press the uh, Control G. Let me go ahead and press Escape to get out of that um, menu option. Press Control G and it will group them all together. And I want to have a, a set of these. So this is all grouped. I can now press Control D to duplicate that group. And let me go ahead and press Control D again to duplicate that. Let me go ahead and select everything. And I'm going to align it. Let me go. Let me distribute them horizontally. Um, actually, that didn't work. Let me go ahead and distribute them um, center. So they can all be a little bit centered. So now I want to have this all as one group now. So this is all selected. Press Control G. And now you can see, instead of having these three separate groups, this is all one big group. Now I want to turn this into a perspective. And so once this is selected, you have this all selected. I'm going to go under Shape Effects. This is under still under the Format tab. Go to Shape Effects and go to 3D Rotation. And I want to select a perspective one. And the rotation one is this one. The um, Let me go ahead and hover over it again. This is the perspective relax moderately. Um, I'm not going to accept the defaults here. I'm going to go and change it a little bit more. But this is the one I want. So I can go ahead and kind of change some of the options of this 3D rotation. I'm go, This is selected. Right click. Oops, let me go and select it again. Select this right click and go into Format Shape. And I want to go under the effects here. And I want to change the 3D rotation. The other way to do it, um, if that's kind of hard for you, is uh, you can go into here. You can select it and under Format. And we, we had shape effects under 3D rotation. We want to go ahead and select the 3D rotation options here. It brings up the same, same window. So as, as in any Microsoft Office product, uh, you have different ways to get to the same uh, option or same commands. So we have our 3D rotation here. What I want to do is uh, maybe I want to change the rotation here, um, the Y rotation here. And maybe I want to adjust it a little bit more, maybe make it a little bit more uh, flatter. And maybe with the perspective, I want to make, make, make this a little bit more wider. So let me go ahead and change that a little bit. Let's see if I can make that a little bit more wider. That looks pretty good. I think that I think I'll keep it with that effect. Now I want to make sure that my top ends here kind of fit uh, the width of the slide here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to do some more adjusting. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe move this down here a little bit. Let me go ahead and select this. 
and move it down a little bit. So let me go down here, and I want to make this these ends go to the end of the slide. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out a bit. And maybe this is a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to reduce the size here so it makes it a little bit easier to see. Let me go ahead and move this out. Actually, I can probably move one end to here, and so I can move just one of the other ends to size it. So, right, so that looks like it's nice at that side and the left side. Let me go ahead and move this over to the right, make it make it a little bigger here. Uh, that didn't work there, so I'm going to have to do some adjustments. So let me go ahead and see if that worked out. And that looks like it did. So, But you can see that the image kind of overtook the rest of the slide. And I want to be able to crop that. So I want to crop it to make sure it kind of fits within the slide. Now, this is a grouping of separate images. So there's no crop command available because it's not one whole image. So what I need to do is make it one whole image. And the way I can do that is to cut this image and paste it back as a whole image. So what I can do is, this is selected, press Control X to cut it. It's disappeared, but I can right click and select the paste it as a picture now. So now this whole thing is a picture. It's not grouped by the squares or the individual squares. It's just one whole big picture. I can now crop it. So if I select the picture here, go under Format, now I have this crop command available to me. Uh, again, this is kind of big, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can reduce the size so I can see it a little bit better. I want to probably move it down here um, to where I want to see it before I start cropping it. And so I'm going to go click the crop command. So you can see after I have uh, crop enabled or active, I have these little handles where I can start to crop it. So I'm going to move it over here. Uh, let me go and move it over here to the end here and move this handle, this little uh, darker handle over here, uh, over to the end of the slide here. And it's, uh, let me see, and it's cropped. So that's the selection I want it. You can see the, the um, inactive areas uh, show in gray, but the active area shows in the original color. Go ahead and click crop again, and now it's cropped. So let me move this back into a more uh, viewable size. Let me go into a slideshow view and see how this looks. And it actually looks pretty good. So we've got our uh, 3D grid perspective. If we want to do some further changes, let me go and press Escape to get out of that. We can actually do some further changes to give this a more artistic effect. If I select here, I can actually go under Format Picture. There's things that I can do. Uh, I can change the color. You can see that if I go here, I can change the color of it or let me control Z to undo that, or I can sh give it some artistic effects. Uh, maybe give it a kind of like a, a rough uh, tile look, or give it kind of something like a, a broken look. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do afterwards. After you're creating your grid effect, let me go, oh, that doesn't look too good. Control C to undo. Uh, oops. Let me go ahead and uh, Control Y to redo that. All right, and so we'll click crop. And so there's a couple of things you can do. So even after you create your perspective grid effect, there's a lot of things you can do by adjusting the color or giving some artistic effect. Uh, probably not a good idea to get too wild about it. Let me go back into slideshow view. But uh, once you create this grid effect, it looks pretty good. It's something that you can put, put on a business presentation. It, it, gives you, it gives the slide a little bit more pizzazz, uh, a little bit more visual appeal. So that's the way that we can create a perspective grid effect. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.